To serve great food is to create memories for your customers. But it takes more than luck. It takes consistency, creativity, and the drive to see things through. And every day, the stakes are high, which means it's time to stand up from your computer and start getting real. To own your kitchen is to own your bottom line. This is the real world. And now... This is the real world. And now... This is the real world. And now is the time to foodify your business. Welcome back to the F Your Business Podcast. Yeah. So, Scotty, we're going to stay with the theme. You know, do something for an appetizer, right. possibly lunch, and an entree, right? That's the theme we're staying with. So, today we're going to do, oh, pretty classic Italian dish. Okay. We're going to, we're going to work with clams. So, we're going to steam some clams for an appetizer, and then we're going to do steamed clams in a, in a uh, white wine sauce with pasta. No, no, clams and macaroni. Nice. Sounds good. Delicious. Again, it could be used as a lunch too, a little smaller portion. Right. And, and then also you could use the clams, you could, you know, clams on a half shell. It's raw. There's a lot, lot going on there. You could use the clams up, right? And it's something you don't want to hang around because it's a right. live item. Right. Right? It's not something that you freeze or, you know, you keep in the refrigerator for a week. You want to kind of roll through them, but you can if, if you use them in multiple ways. And it's a, it's a great product, okay. right? So here we are at Old Tomates. We got our shop on this. We're going to head inside. We'll see you in there. All right, Scott, here we go. I think we got everything. All right, we got our own we got our kosher salt, we got extra virgin olive oil, we got our garlic, we got our red pepper flake, we got our wine, we got our most important little neck clams, right? For clams and linguine. Oh, yeah. And I got my, my fresh parsley. There so go. we're good to go. We got all our ingredients. We'll see you in the kitchen. All right, welcome back. Here we are in the kitchen. We're gonna make the easy dish for you, right? We'll do some steamed clams. Nice and easy, we've got our clams, our olive oil, our garlic, our red pepper flake, some parsley, some butter, salt, pepper, water, and white wine. Yeah. We're gonna make this into an appetizer. We're gonna make it to an entree. Both. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Both. <laughs> um, both, right? Let's get this going. Get your olive oil in. Don't worry about it, I can't put too much. All right. All right. Like that, you can't mess it up. Let's can't mess it up, right? Get our garlic in. Red pepper flakes. Oh, it is optional, but it really needs it, I think. Okay. And you're not trying to make it hot, overpower it. Just a little bit, just help get it going. This, this is what we're cooking in order, so if you want, if someone didn't want them, then you don't have to. Right. All right. Because uh, we get these a lot out. My wife's a light garlic one. Got it. I'm a heavy garlic. You know, but you know, she, she likes a white food. Once we get these done, while it gets a little bit soft, okay. just without the dirt. You know, again, this is you know, you gotta put the love into the food. Yeah. You can throw everything in that once and hope it comes out good, <laughs> but it won't. This is how you, you got to do it. Let this garlic get soft, it's flavoring the oil. This oil is going to go through everything, especially if this is going to go onto your, your, your macaroni. Yeah, all right, so here we go, okay. We're going to go with the wine. Easy white wine, you tell me how that already, right? Chardonnay, a Pacino Grigio, something like that. All right, I'm going to talk to I'm going to get this a little bit to a boil before I keep the cold. Okay. Shelves in, okay? I like to go a little parsley here, too, and then parsley at the end. This way it gets through the whole component of the dish. So this way you want to put it in and follow the boil. This wine so far, right? I mean, it looks pretty difficult. I mean, it's. Now we got our clam. Take this. You want to cover it. You want to give it a good shape. Cover it. This takes roughly three minutes. Okay. All right. So you know, if, if it was the dish with the macaroni, you want to start the macaroni a little bit ahead. Right. Got you it. know, uh, unless you're one of these places that pre-cook your macaroni, which I hope you're not. It takes seven minutes to cook macaroni. You can wait. You know. But yeah, and that goes good. Uh, and you can use this with clams or mussels? So yeah. clams or mussels don't change the recipe. Okay. Now, if you want to go red, all you would do to this, that sauce we made, yeah. add your, your marinara. Got it. So same thing, you have the white wine, thing. everything in it. You add the marinara. Now you, you got uh, clams red yeah. or mussels red. But you follow the same procedure for a mussel egg with a clam. Got okay. it. You know, now it's important to take this into the back. So we go back there, right? 
it's a little bit of, you got to rinse them a few times to get the sand down. Right. right? I, I, I like to give them a little scrub the shell. Yeah. Same thing with the muscle. You got the same routine with the muscle. Are you doing this by, are you by the beach? Are you doing it by weight for this typically in the bath? No, so we would keep a bowl in where our muscles, you know, so the side bowl. You would scoop them in the muscles, and this is what you got it. Okay. Right. Okay. You know, that, that's what we're doing today. Right. Right? But you put the corners away because they kind of open up. Okay. And now if you're in a restaurant, you're not sitting there watching, you should be working on all the components. Oh, right, you're over here cooking more than one item at a time. Right, right. <laughs> so you just start open. I know we talked a lot about items you already had. This might be something that you don't have, right? You might have already had yeah, items in your restaurant. It's not open already. And, and it could be a minute and a half thing. It could be a perfect item to add as a special, right? Like, yeah. Maybe you don't always have plans. You bring them in and try them on a weeknight. Come on a weekend, and why not? Why, why, not I, why not a weekend, right? That's where you know you're busiest. Bring them in for a weekend and, and, and run it. A, a steam plan like this in a white wine sauce. And then and then do the same exact thing as an entree with right. macaroni. Yes, yeah, so we're going to show you both of them. They look like exactly. That's, you know. And now they're all just about right. open, and this is when the butter's got to go in. That's going to help thicken it this way. You know, with a different bread, it's going to help it thicken it, stick to the clam itself. But it's such an easy I get dish, there's so many you know, little items all in there. I've got a couple of them. We've got a couple of them. We're almost there. Alright, here we go. Let's get our bread. Uh, bread. Uh, you got a bread to get all that delicious sauce. You don't want to leave that. You don't want to leave that in there not to use. You might be here. It's like they're all opening up perfectly. So we got one, two that needs another second. All right, don't give them that second. If they don't open, then it means they're no good. Because you don't want to overcook the ones that open. Yeah, so we're gonna couple give left, we're going to give a shot. Give it like 15 seconds. If they don't open, it means we're not going to use them. That's it. Yeah, it's how easy it is. Simple. You know, you make a little station to go do this, because if you do this, you should, you're going to see how, how well you sell them. Right. And you're probably going to add clam them up. But then you have that little station, which is your white wine, the water, a yeah. couple of ingredients that go in here. It's not a whole lot of ingredients. Let's be honest. No. It's not, not like, if you're going to have a restaurant, you shouldn't be bringing anything extra into these. So, no. So then this is going to work right to the bowl. That's it. Right to the bowl. It's a great shareable appetizer. And that's you know a nice part about it. Right. Go with a little more parsley on top. Take the bread. There you go. There's your appetizer. Can't do any better. No. All right. Give us a minute. Get cleaned up a little bit. We're going to show you the entree. The foundation of our team is a shared objective. As specialists in the hospitality industry, we understand the importance of timely and accurate reporting for our clients, which has been made even more crucial throughout the post-pandemic industry recovery. We truly believe our mission is to give back to business owners control of their finances so that they can make better decisions daily. The way that we are consistently showing value to our clients is by speaking with them on a weekly basis. Not only do they have the relationship with their lead accountant, but they have the opportunity to meet with industry experts. The truth is that things will never be like they were before 2020. But we believe that our weekly accountability model will help you adapt to the new reality and grow and evolve into an even better business in the years to come. All right, welcome back. So here you go. We, we have our beautiful steamed clams. Of course, you got to serve it with bread. You got all that great juice in there that uh, becomes awesome. a great dipping uh, sauce. Then here, did the same thing. The only difference was we put the macaroni and the sauce over it with the clams. That's it. That's the difference here. It, it's not rocket science. Right. And that's an entree. If you serve me this with, with some bread, I'd be in heaven. It's, it looks delicious. It's huge. I mean, it's, it's a big portion. Right. So, you know, go ahead, Scott. I know you said there's something you're not familiar with. 
yeah, I've only ever actually cooked clams. I've eaten my fair share on, on pastas and, and appetizers. Look, I think it's a great, easy appetizer, super shareable, super easy. Yep. So I dig into that. Um, and I think, you know, we look back in, you know, this recipe has been around for a long time. I mean, it started, you know, Na- Naples and you go off right. the shore. They obviously had clams. Right. Um, I think it was 1839, the first time I came in a recipe book. And it was, you know, five ingredients. It was linguine, it was clams, it was garlic, it was parsley, and it was olive oil. And as it evolved, they kind of added some pepper flakes and wine. Right. That's so, pretty close to what you just did here, right? It's exactly what we did here. Like, it's very it's limited it's ingredients. Yeah. You probably have all this in a restaurant. So maybe not the clam. But maybe you don't have clam. But let's go with the clam. Let's get it going, right? They're very simple to do. You just rinse them. You get the, the shells a little scrub. Rinse them a few times. Get the sand out. That's it. It's, it's not, not very labor intensive at all. Right. And these are quick dishes. See, you know, they steam in like three, three or four minutes. Right. You know, they're ready to go. So let's dig in and see what we got, Scott. Yeah. Get a little macaroni here. See how the sauce is. Hmm. The full flavor. That's really good. Grab the clam. Yeah. I got a little bit of heat like you're talking about. A little bit. Not burn my mouth off. A little heat. <coughs> so, <coughs> maybe a little extra heat on the on that <laughs> on one. Got a little, you got a little flake. So, so this one, the macaroni s- absorbs a lot of that that juice. Right, right. Come over to this one. <coughs> you see, there's nothing on this yet. I just dip this down in here, and you, you got a party. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. You got a party. Mm. Again, the flavor at this roll. So good. So, clam from this one. A little clam from here. All right. I got a straggler. Hmm. You know, that's the best when you think you're done. And then you go to the right. And you find the stragglers. Yeah. yeah. Mm. No, we want to add items that you said you could use as a lunch portion. So, right, you can maybe use. Half amount of clams or big quarter of clams. Use you know right. a little less pasta. Easy lunch. Make a small. Always right. Start it with a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Uh, I think the nice part with this appetizer, it's such a quick hitter. Right, we can get it out to the table so quickly. So you know maybe your restaurant's on a wait. Maybe you're busy it's Saturday night. Sable sits down. They order this, and within seven minutes, it's at their table. Well, that's a great thing. Either if you're going with the appetizer, and again, this is a three for one. You got the appetizer, you got your lunch, you got your dinner, right? Go a little smaller portion for dinner, mm-hmm. right? Like half the size. I mean, I'm sorry. For lunch, for lunch go half the size. Yeah. This would always stay as the appetizer, that size. Right. You're not going to do any less no. than that. But, I, you know, you put this on your menu, I, I can't see you not moving it. If you make it just like this, this is the this is the traditional way, as you just said. Right. Super easy, super traditional. Yeah. yeah. And, and this just <clears throat> is over the top. Good. You know, so I, I really suggest, you know, take a look at it, you know, search it in. I look for some other recipes with it if you want to mess around and have yeah, some you fun. Can, right? I mean, you could always add different items to this. You could add, you know, mussels, you could have clams, you could sure. have shrimp, you could have all together. And, you, and, do, you know, and, and, it's endless what you could do. That's a 30 hour dish now, right? We start adding yeah. a little bit of crab meat in it. Right. I mean, it's, well, it's right. about, if you just went with some shrimp and mussels <laughs> and maybe a couple scallops, right? You're at 30 bucks, $33, no problem. That's a great dish, and you don't. Yeah. Have to be just a seafood restaurant to do that. Or no, you know, anybody you know. can do this. If you, if, if you have just a, you know, a, a very you know basic neighborhood pizzeria. Yeah. This is very doesn't take a lot of room. You don't need a lot of ingredients. No. Doesn't take forever to cook. You knock it out real quick. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that. And like we looked all the way forward. You don't have to th- throw it right on your menu. It can be your special on a Friday night, Saturday night. So you yeah. you get them in on Thursday or Friday. Okay, you're going to have Thursday to sell, Friday to sell, Saturday to sell, Sunday, Sunday to sell. sell. You're right? going to sell. Like, they're going to go. And, and not long. So, buy, you know, if you think you're going to sell 30 orders. Right. You know, buy 30 orders worth. You're going to sell them, right? And if you if you sell out, you sell out. If it's 20 orders, if, yeah. whatever you think yeah. you're going to sell. If you always say, well, you know what? I'm really scared. I don't, I'm, I'm going to do 10 orders. I'm get enough for 10 orders. Right. Get enough for 10 orders. You sell out, you sell out. You don't know. Oh, I had it. I sold out. Right. I'll have it next week again. Yeah. 
And maybe then you bring in 15 orders or 12, whatever right. the next whatever, is. whatever it is. And especially with now a lot of technology, you know, a lot of even, you know, small restaurants have a menu screen right. where you could have a picture of this up yeah. there, right? You're not right. going to add it to all your menus. Don't do that. Right. But you could have it somewhere that they're looking at like, wow. a picture of that on the screen. <laughs> a picture of right? this an appetizer on the screen. I mean, just look at that juice in there. I mean, dipping your bread into that. I mean, I'm so that's a picnic. I mean, having a drink with it. Oh. And that's one of the things we're like, Having your servers taste it before, get, you know, well, yeah. they may not have had a lot of experience right. with this, well, and they'll get excited about it. And they're getting excited about it now. It's yeah. on the special menu now. Right. It's they're talking about it, and like Chris said, you're going to be shocked how quickly they go through the night. Oh yeah, you know, I, I have no fear of some any of this. I mean, this is going to go, and it, you know what? It gets people excited, right? It's something different. It's probably something different we've been serving. And we talk about every place has on their menu. Mm-hmm. It's not hard to execute. No, it's not time consuming to execute at all. Um, As you've seen, it's really yeah. no time whatsoever. And but you have to serve bread with it. You can't serve this without bread. Right, and that goes to you know, make sure you have the right bread. I know. Right, get, nice, right? get the nice hard loaf of Italian bread. Seed it, not seed it. It's up to you. I always <clears> lean towards seed it, but you know a lot of places I go, they don't use seed it, which is fine. I'll, you know, I'm still dipping it. Yeah, and then again, your restaurant, it's a great thing for the entree. Maybe it comes with a small salad, right? Maybe, you know, that's all you need to make sure that it's Whatever you, you normally do. It fits into your menu. You it fits do. into what you do. Right. And it's, it's very price friendly. <clears throat> right. That's you the know? other part that's of it, it is you can easily. This is another item that's going to help offset some of the higher item, higher priced items. As you get into the super, you know, right, we always talk about, you're going to have a steak on your menu, right? Right. It'll depend on your restaurant, right? Right. So, the steak's going to be a steak. You know what I mean? You know uh, that protein's going to be higher. Right. So as we can add things like this, you know, pastas, some of the seafood stuff, some of these things that kind of, you know, give that wow factor, but still really staying in line to a really nice food cost for, you know, mm-hmm. for the restaurant. We need those. Yeah. You know, we need those on there. Absolutely. And this is definitely one of them. Again, this, this can be done with mussels or clams. Now, mussels are a little more inexpensive. You can okay. get most about half the prices of clams. Got it. So if you didn't want to go clams right away, you just want to start with the mussels, you follow the same technique. Again, I'll tell you, if you want to do red or white, all you would do is when you add the wine and the water in, you add a ladle of your marinara. That's it. That's the only difference. So it's easy to give that as an option. Yeah. I feel like a lot of times where I've seen it. All it's red or white. It's red or white. Because yeah, it's, it's that easy. It's, it's not hard to do, right. you know, to, to make it e- either way. So, you know, listen, if you want to jump on a call with us, uh, we offer a 30-minute free call. We'll go over what's happening in your restaurant. If you want to talk about recipes, labor, food cost, hiring, yeah. doesn't matter what it is. We, we, you know, we talk about back of house a lot, but we, you know, we've been working a lot on front of the house with people. There's been a lot of issues uh, trying to help with upselling and suggestive selling, and, and just getting your your staff members involved with the menu, knowing the menu. It's like school. You got to know the menu. You yeah. got to know it inside and out. Yeah, you're passionate about it. So again, yeah. as you're introducing new items or different things. You know, remember that maybe just because you're used to going out to dinner and seeing it on the menu, your staff might not be used to going to the same restaurants. Right. They might not used to be ordering items like that. So right. keeping them involved in that, you know, it's a great time. It's a, it's a new year, right? Right. It's, it's 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 a great time to add a couple new items. You know, see maybe what worked last year, what didn't work. Try things a little bit differently. I think as we're looking, at this is is a great start to kind of you know catapult that quarter one to have a great year. You got to, you know, if you, if you want to have a successful quarter one, let's start now. We you know if, if you're going to keep waiting and get into February, you're putting yourself behind eight ball a little bit, right? Right, because now you, now you're down to sixty days instead of having, you yeah. know, right now we're probably around you know seventy, you know, seventy days. So right, we, we want to you know have every day you know to our advantage to, to make an impact in quarter one, and this is one of the ways you can make an awesome impact. And we talk a lot about to go still go, you know, in the right direction. We talk about, you know, third party in the right direction. Right. And we talk about, you know, it, it, and depending where you are, it's, it's probably winter. So it's a little colder. Right. So maybe to go is a little higher. This item is going to travel well, Travel's right? Great. You know, that, that steak Travel's that great. you cook medium is not going to get medium when, on, it, gets when it gets there. Right. This item, you know, maybe it's a quick reheat. And when they get back, maybe it's not. This it's probably not. You item. know, if you put it in the, in the right, you know, the tin with the lid. Yeah. And that, when it gets there, it's hot, man. It's ready. You dig right in. Right. We need to think about yeah. that as we're innovating our menu. Well, especially, like you said, with all the third party business that everyone's doing today. Right. You want items that travel well. Mm-hmm. This is definitely one of them. Yeah, this is yeah. this might be yeah. one of the ones that you've as a as a customer, I would feel very confident ordering this to go. Yeah. Knowing that it's not gonna lose a ton. No. 
when it gets to me. Might even be a little better because especially the macaroni is so good. <laughs> right, all that cheese is going to be so good. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's a wrap for us today. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on the FU Business Podcast.